Genesis chapter 13. Then Abram went up from Egypt, he, his wife, and everything he had, and Lot went with him to the Negev. Abram had become very wealthy in livestock, silver, and gold. And he went on his journey from the Negev and from Bethel to the place his tent was placed at the beginning, between Bethel and Ai, to the place of the altar which he had built at the beginning. And there Abram called with the name of Yahweh. Lot, who went with Abram, also had flocks, herds, and tents. But the land could not support them together, because their possessions were too great to stay together. And there arose a quarrel between Abram's herdsmen and between Lot's herdsmen. And the Canaanite and the Perizzite then lived in the land. So Abram said to Lot, Let there not now be quarreling between me and you, and between my herdsmen and your herdsmen. For we men are brothers. Is a whole land not before you? Let us part company now. If you go to the left, then I will go to the right. And if you go to the right, then I will go to the left. Then Lot looked up and saw the whole plain of Yarden, that it was well watered everywhere, before Yahweh destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, like the garden of Yahweh, like the land of Egypt going toward Zor. Then Lot chose for himself all the plain of Yarden, and Lot journeyed east, and they parted company from each other. And Abram lived in the land of Canaan, and Lot lived in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tents as far as Sodom. Now the men of Sodom were wicked, and were sinning greatly against Yahweh. And Yahweh said to Abram, after Lot had parted from him, Lift your eyes from where you are, and look north and south, east and west. All the land you see, to you and your offspring, I give forever. And I will make your offspring as the dust of the earth so that if a man could count the dust of the earth, your descendants also could be numbered. Go, walk through the length and breadth of the land, for I am giving it to you. So Abram moved his tents and went to live near the trees of Mamre near Hebron, and he built an altar there to Yahweh. 